this is Greg from Painting Table and I'm here today to uh, show you the latest model I have built here and talk a little bit about how I made it and hopefully give some tips or advice to people looking to do some minor conversion work. So what I've got is my Doom Bowl and if you've been listening to recent episodes of the podcast you'll know that I've been playing my Beastmen recently and I've been trying out a Doom Bowl with the Arabian carpet. Uh, which allows him to fly and so I needed a model to represent this guy and I thought for a long time about how to make the conversion and how to actually get him flying around on a carpet um, and as cool and sort of goofy as that would be I decided to take mm, perhaps the easy way out um, and just give him some wings uh, but also I think it makes him look a little more intimidating or imposing on the battlefield so what I've got here is what most people refer to as a basic uh, kit bash conversion. Uh, the basis for this model is a plastic minotaur from the new kit. Um, I decided to work with this as my base because all of the minotaurs in my army are actually the old uh, GW metal minotaurs. And so this guy is definitely more detailed, more muscular, um, more stocky and he will stand out from the rest just fine. Uh, I, I also considered working with the new um, fine cast version of the Doom Bowl and after taking a look at that model I decided against it um, mostly because I'm not giving him a great weapon, I'm giving him a, a magic weapon and a shield and so with the plastic kit for about the same cost I'd be able to work with this guy instead and still have the bits left over and also have him you know represented the way I want so he's the a basic minotaur from the plastic kit and then I added wings from the new Vargeist and Crypt Horrors box uh, again if you've been following along with the show you know that I decided to build the Crypt Horrors instead of the Vargeist and I had all these wings left over decided to put them to good use so very simply what I did to make the conversion is I took the wings I selected two wings that uh, I felt would be appropriate and I clipped the parts where they join to the body of the Vargeist so that they would be nice and flat and I glued them on to the back here in two different spots um, of the Minotaur or the Doom Bowl I should say and allowed it to dry and then I covered up the gap with green stuff so I used green stuff to make that look like a more smooth transition between the two and I'll just zoom in a little bit here hopefully give you a slightly better view so you can see what's going on and once I did that I I hadn't put the arms on yet and I noticed that made it a little more difficult to get the arms into the proper positions so I glued the arms on and there 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 were some gaps on the top and so I had to fill these in with green stuff as well and these were really simple I mean the model the part I was sculpting is just flat muscle and I felt that the the Vargeist wings actually mix quite nicely with this model because they also have the over exaggerated muscles <laughs> so it wasn't too difficult um, it just took a small amount of green stuff to make the conversion work the only changes I made to the wings was that up at the top of them there were these sort of claw like or finger like things sticking out and I removed those I didn't want it to look like these were hands I wanted them to just be wings on the Vargas they sort of um, have like these sort of claws I don't know but the Doom Ball already has two arms and two hands I didn't want to add any more than that um, Originally, I was going to go through the steps of how you do some basic gap filling and uh, smoothing over transitions with green stuff, but I decided basically <laughs> that I couldn't do a better job explaining it than people already have. So at the end of this video, I'm going to have some links to uh, really good tutorials on some basic green stuff work and how to use it to fill in gaps. Um, Filling in gaps is important when you're doing kit bash conversions like this. It can also be important when you're working with metal models where the pieces don't join properly. Uh, sometimes even with plastic models, pieces won't 
fit quite right. They leave a gap and you need to fill it in. So this is my doom ball. I'm really happy to have put him together and hopefully he'll perform a little better in the games now that I won't be <laughs> now that I won't be uh, proxying him with a river troll. And I'll keep you updated as I'm painting him and let you know how it's going. I might be painting him on the next episode of the cast. Uh, we'll see about that. Um, but if you're interested, let me know and I could do some tutorials on how I paint up the different pieces of the model. So thanks for watching and be sure to check out our podcast at www.paintingtable.com. Take care.